If you're thinking about purchasing an Ego mower, in this review video, we're gonna talk about all the benefits and features of the Ego mowing line, as well as the specific features and benefits of this model, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mark, and at the Top Homeowner Channel, our goal is to help you become the top homeowner in your neighborhood. We've tackled a lot of home projects over the years, and even at multiple houses, so we've learned a lot of things along the way, and we like to share our experiences with you to help you be the best homeowner that you can possibly be. Like all of our review videos, we actually purchase the equipment ourselves, so that way we can bring you an honest review and our honest opinion as whether or not we would actually purchase this ourselves, or if we would skip it. If you're curious whether or not we would purchase this lawnmower again, stay till the end of the video, and we will give you our verdict. And if you're interested in purchasing one of these lawnmowers at the best price, we'll have a link in the description below that you can go and check out after the video is done. Now, to be honest, we were actually a little bit skeptical whether or not we should transition from a gas-powered lawnmower to a lithium battery-powered lawnmower, but based off of the reviews that we saw online of the Ego Power Tool equipment, we decided to go ahead and take the plunge and give the Ego lawnmower a shot. In fact, online, a lot of people were referring to the Ego brand of power tools as the equivalent of what Tesla is to cars. So we figured if we went with a brand that was going to actually work and meet our needs, that the Ego line would be the best shot that we had. Now, before we get into the specifics of the lawnmower that we actually purchased, I want to talk a little bit about the benefits of lithium battery powered lawn equipment compared to their gas counterparts. All right, now first let's talk about the battery. So the battery on the Ego series power tools is actually a 56 volt lithium ion battery that they call the ARC battery. Now, 56 volts sounds like a, an odd number. And to be honest, we were a little bit skeptical about this as well because we've seen other power tools have a higher voltage rating, like 80 volt, for example. But based off of the information that Ego provides, we were able to determine the voltage isn't the only factor in determining whether or not it has the right performance for your needs for your lawn. In fact, you can see here, I'm gonna have a chart on the screen that compares their battery performance to other competitor brands so you can see this data for yourself. The Arc Lithium battery is also interchangeable with all of their power tools in their line. So not only would you have a battery that would work with a lawnmower, but if you have a weed eater or a blower, then those batteries will work with all the power tool equipments from Ego. These batteries have an integrated power gauge so you can see how much power is left in them. And these batteries can be charged in as little as 25 minutes, depending on what charger you have and how much capacity the battery is that you're charging. Now, if you're still not convinced that these batteries actually have enough power to do the job, well, we actually found out that Ego has a zero turn riding lawnmower that's powered with these batteries. That's right, they have a 42 inch zero turn riding lawnmower that you can see here that actually will mow up to two acres on a single charge. Um, this is actually one of the reasons that convinced us to go ahead and go with one of their push mowers because if it can power a riding lawnmower, then it can surely power a push mower just fine. Another advantage is storage. If this was a traditional lawnmower that was gas powered and you had gas and oil to worry about, you couldn't stand it on in because at the very least, the oil and the gas might spill out of the lawnmower. But because this is battery powered, you can actually stand it on in and stick it in the corner of your garage so you don't have to worry about it taking up valuable floor space. And because there's no oil and gas to worry about, you don't have to worry about running to the gas station to get some additional gas just to finish mowing or to get some gas before you even have the chance to start mowing the lawn. You don't have to worry about changing the oil and you don't have to worry about making sure the, that your gas and oil mixture ratio is correct if you have a power equipment tool that requires a gas fuel mixture. So it's a really great benefit and it also is easier to start because you just have to push a button instead of having to pull a cord and wreck your back trying to get everything to run. And of course, these power tools are environmentally friendly since they don't use gas or oil. There's no fumes to worry about and there's no worry about having to store gas over the winter, spilling gas in your garage or other various things that you have to worry about with traditional gas powered equipment. Winterizing is really easy. All you have to do is take the battery out and put it in the house. <laughs> All right, so all these benefits sound really good when it comes to lithium battery power, but what about the performance? I mean, do these things actually hold up to the hype? Well, we're gonna find out, but before we do, let's talk about the specifics of the lawnmower that we actually purchased so you can understand what it is that we're comparing it to. The model we purchased is the Ego Power Plus 21 inch select cut self-propelled mower. This model features a seven and a half amp hour battery that has about 60 minutes of runtime and takes around the same amount of time to recharge with the included charger. If your yard typically takes longer to mow than about 60 minutes, you have a couple of different options. One, you can either charge the battery and wait. Two, you can purchase an additional battery to swap out. Or three, you can even try switching out to the included 
extended runtime blade. Speaking of blades, it actually includes three different blades. One is the mulching blade, which comes installed on the mower from the factory. Two is a high lift bagging blade that's used with the bag attachment. And the third one, like I said, is the extended runtime blade that can help you get a little bit more battery runtime out of your lawnmower. Swapping the blades out is also a pretty simple process. You can simply remove the battery and stand the mower on end to get quick access to the lower blade, which you can then swap out with the blade of your choice. For discharge options, you can either capture all of your clippings with the included bag and attachment, mulch with the included insert, or even install the side discharge chute by simply changing the inserts in the back. The mower is pretty quiet and it is a lot quieter than our old riding lawn mower. Although I still don't think it's quite enough to mow the lawn in the middle of the night, you might still get some complaints from your neighbors if you decided to do that. But if you do need to mow after dark, this lawnmower includes some LED power lights that are bright enough to light the way. Adjusting the height of the mowing deck is really easy as well with the included single-handed seven position cutting height adjuster that can adjust cutting the grass between one and a half to four inches high. And of course, since this is a self-propelled model, you have the option of adjusting the speed from just under one mile an hour to a little over three miles an hour, depending on what your needs are. And of course, you can turn it off completely if you'd like. Now, Ego does offer quite a few different models of lawnmowers, so I've included a chart here that you can use as a reference to see the differences between all of them. You can feel free to come back and pause the video here when you're ready. Okay, so now the question we've all been dying to find out, how well does this perform? And it actually performs really, really well. As you can see here, um, the lawnmower does a really good job. It makes a really clean cut. The bagger attachment does a really good job of picking up the clippings as you go. And it even makes some really nice lines in the yard to make your mowing job look really professional. And if you're worried about it powering through tall grass, you shouldn't be. The mower actually provides seven feet pound of torque, which is strong enough to power through some pretty tall grass. Overall, the lawnmower does a really good job. It's super simple to maintain and it's easy to operate. Now, while that sounds good, there are a couple of cons to be aware of. First, the battery runtime is slightly less than what we would have hoped for. Even though it is about 60 minutes in total, our yard is a little bit bigger than what a 60 minute charge can handle. So we find ourselves stopping about three fourths of the way through a job in order to charge the battery. Now, this isn't a huge deal for us because we're planning on purchasing another piece of power tool equipment. So once we do that, we're gonna have another battery that we can swap out so we don't have to wait for the battery to charge to finish mowing our yard. Also, the other thing that I really don't like about the lawnmower isn't with the lawnmower itself, it's actually with the charger. So the charger has some exposed terminals that connect into the battery when you're charging it. And while the battery is protected, the charger is not. So I'm a little bit concerned about if you leave the charger plugged in and you have something like a piece of metal fall over the top of it, that it could short. So in order to make sure that everything's safe, after we are done charging a battery, we unplug the charger to make make sure that nothing is going to actually short out the charger and start a spark or something worse. Um, I don't know if there are any safety features built into the charger to prevent this, but we're erring on the side of caution to make sure that nothing happens. Overall, we think this is a really great buy and we would purchase it again if we had to. We'd even go with the exact same model because overall it fits the needs of our house and our lawn really well. They do make other models that have different features, some with a longer runtime, some with a shorter runtime. They even make a dual battery uh, option that you can purchase as well if you think that's something you need. So if you're interested in purchasing one of these lawnmowers, we're going to leave a link in the description below where you can go and check this out at the best price. And also, if you're interested in anything that we didn't cover in this video, please be sure to leave us a comment below and we'll be sure to answer those questions as soon as we can. And we are planning on doing a long-term review video next year once we have been able to run this lawnmower through its paces, but we did want to get an initial review video out to you so you can make a decision right away. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the Top Homeowner channel, please be sure to do that because our goal at the Top Homeowner channel is to help you become the top homeowner in your neighborhood. We cover everything from product reviews to home maintenance and even remodeling topics. So you don't wanna miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.